In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to change color of different elements in Adobe Illustrator. So first of all, let's just dive straight in. So there's two different types of color. There's fill color, which is an object or text, which is filled with color. The other one is stroke, which is basically an outline color of an object or text. So up at the top here, we've got a box and it's filled with red. To change that, we need to go into our swatches panel and we can change it to any other color we like. A blue, another deep red, an orange, uh, a green. And with the text as well, we can do the exact same thing. So it's now filled with black. We can change it to pink and red or any other color that you really want. But the difference being with the stroke is we are toggled and this thing here is toggled in between fill and stroke. So as you can see, there's, there's no fill color to that. It's literally empty of color. Um, to change the stroke color, we need to toggle this stroke color. So once it's toggled, we can then change the color of that stroke or the outline. Same for this box here. So we need to make sure that the outline is selected or the stroke is selected, and we can then start to change the different color as well. If you want to add colors to your swatch panel, first of all, what we need to do is go over to our fill and stroke and double click and up will pop this color picker toolbox. Now what we can do is we can slide this up and down to go through the different colors. So let's say we wanted a sort of light pink. We could then sort of select it by clicking on where we want it. If you wanted something more specific, we could use um, CMYK. So if you wanted to do an orange, we would put 100% yellow and maybe a nice 60% magenta. And we can um, then go to OK. And what we can do to add that color, if we click on new swatch, up pops this box. I'm gonna make sure it's CMYK. And again, as you can see, it's changed the uh, original color so let's just double check and add it as we want it 100 percent and there we have our orange as well so we just press ok and that's our color added to our swatch panel if you want to add a hex coded color to your color palette what we need to do is click on plus and type in your hex code to this little box here ffd 100 is a yellow I use quite frequently. I just hit tab and it'll bring in the color, press OK. And that's added that color swatch there. We can also arrange the color swatches. So I've now got my orange color and my yellow color added to my color palette. Another way you can add colors to your color palette is if you have some colors already open in Illustrator, you can select the color. And once you've selected it, if you go to the plus icon, it will bring in the RGB value of that. And if you need to change to CMYK, you can change to CMYK. I'm just gonna leave it as it is, and then you can just press OK. And you can add as many different colors that way as you can, uh, just by selecting that plus, and it'll start to bring in those colors into your color palette as well. If you would like to add a tint of a color to your color palette, select the color within your swatches while having the color guide open. To access that, make sure you go to Window and Color Guide. And once it's selected, if we click on it, we can then go to Tints. I'm just gonna make a really light shade of this color. So I'm gonna select that and press that far right one. Double clicked it and it's ended up in there. I'm gonna set as the base color again. And now I'm gonna get a tint of a tint and go all the way over to the right. Double click that. And then I'm gonna try and add that to my color swatch panel as well. So not only have I got my original color, which is that blue, I've also now got my tint of that color, which is this really light pale blue as well. So that's how to use color and how to add swatches to your swatch panel inside Adobe Illustrator. Hope you got something out of that tutorial. If you did, hit like, share with a friend, consider subscribing, and I look forward to seeing you in another one of my videos very soon. Thanks for watching.